Just days ahead of a city council decision that could determine the fate of ride-sharing companies in Austin like Uber and Lyft, we've learned another company is entering the market. It's called Get Me and has already agreed to comply with whatever regulations the city puts forward. KXAN's Kylie McGivern joining us live from Austin City Hall with our top story. GetMe's announcement that it will enter the rideshare market on Tuesday comes as companies like Uber and Lyft threaten to pull out, calling increased regulations like requiring all drivers to go through a fingerprint background check a burden that will deter drivers. Yeah, I've uh, been here at the art studio as long as I've been driving for Lyft. In old Slackerville, a South Austin staple, Linnell Ripley is fighting to keep a new mode of transportation. When asked about Get Me entering the market, she said, I don't see why that company would be able to operate here and the others wouldn't. It just doesn't make sense to me. Get Me already operates in Houston, which requires fingerprint background checks. But council member Ellen Troxclair questions whether the company can meet the demand with enough drivers. Well, my concern is that this new company um, will run into the same issues that um, Uber and Lyft have voiced concerns about. I'm excited that we have new companies who are interested in getting into the market, but I worry when the government starts to pick winners and losers, which seems to be what's happening in this case. We welcome all TNCs. Um, it's the TNC's choice whether they stay here or not. Tonight at 9 and 10, we ask GEMI's chief experience officer about how the company plans to fill the massive gap left behind if Uber and Lyft decide to leave the market. For now at City Hall, Kylie McGivern, KXAN News. Councilmember Kitchen says the regulations are a matter of public safety. She says it's not the city's job to protect a business model. Right now, Get Me employs five people at their headquarters. The company offers services in Dallas, Houston, and Las Vegas. Their headquarters is in Dallas. Get Me is expected to begin service in San Antonio, Phoenix, and Atlanta next year. We wanted to take a closer look at these rideshare companies and see if there are any differences. When it comes to tipping, Uber does not have an option for it, but Lyft and Get Me do. Surcharges apply to Uber, Lyft, and Get Me, but only for deliveries, which are referred to as zone charges. You cannot be selective with the type of vehicles you ride in with Uber and Lyft, but you can choose your vehicle with Get Me, such as a limousine for special occasions. They also offer trucks for moving furniture. Other ride chairs who have signed agreements with the city in the past include Sidecar and Z-Trip. Meanwhile, a KXAN investigation revealed the safety concerns with ride shares and what new regulations would really mean. We invite you to watch that full investigation online now at KXAN.com.